And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Midwest Miniature Guys Manic Miniature Monday. How are you all doing? Hope you had a good first start of your week. Whew. You know, it's always interesting in the, the line of work that I am in to find out what kind of day we are going to have when you walk in. Is everybody in your, on your team there? Is everybody... Are all the texts coming in so that all the... Uh, the appointments can be kept, and it invariably doesn't work out. Like, there's always somebody that will either call in, or, oh, I'm sick, or, oh, my kid's got this, or blah, blah, blah. It's human. It's, it's human nature. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's still frustrating as all get out. But what are you going to do? That's why we have Super Chill Sunday nights. We have Manic Miniature Monday, where you come down and paint. Um, Tuesdays I take a day off just to kind of chill, and especially for tomorrow, I don't really have a day off tomorrow from, I have a day off from streaming, and I have a day off from painting, but my band is getting together tomorrow night to rehearse because we're going into the studio on, on Saturday and Sunday. So this is our last rehearsal to get all the songs that we want to put on the album as tight as we can possibly make them so that we are fully prepared to go in on Saturday and Sunday and record these and make it the best album that we have ever made, which would only be the second one with this band. <laughs> so hopefully it will be a great product once it's done. It'll have good music on, on the album and you'll be able to get it everywhere because we're going to put it everywhere. And so... Keep an eye out for The Surfs, that's S-E-R-F-S, -S, second album. We don't know what it's going to be called yet. We've got a couple of fun names that we've been looking at. Um, our first album was called Will Work for Beer. And John, our bass player, brought up a great um, name for the album, Working Still. Which, of course we are. We've been working now for like... 17 years, you know, uh, playing and, and whatnot. And, and, but it also has a secondary connotation of a working still, a working distillery or working, uh, moonshine operation. <laughs> you know, if you want to go red dead, you know, it's, it's so yeah, working still it's, it's, you know, I think I, I kind of like that one. I actually do. I kind of like that one. Um, I have my favorite, actually. Uh, I thought Original Brew would be a good one. Um, because we are putting more original songs on it than I think we did the last album. Uh, and ones that uh, Eric and John and Shashir wrote. So I think it's I think that's pretty cool. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we come up with with a name. But we're going to have it on USB drives for sale at shows. And then we're going to put it up on Spotify. And Apple Music and what have you, streaming, blah, 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 so you can go and grab it. And, yeah. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue work on uh, the orc from World of Warcraft. Uh, Gorm or Grom, or I can't remember his name right offhand. Um, but, yeah, we're going to continue work on him. Probably, I'm hoping to finish him up tonight. Uh, I've got most of the colors all laid out. I just need to grab a couple more here. And then we can get going. Um, and I can I can shut up and paint. I can stop talking about band stuff when I should be talking about mini stuff. Come on, paint. Come out of the pot. You can jerk. I know you're. There we go. Glob came out. Okay, I like this one. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on. Uh, and then Wednesday, I'm gonna I'll stream again, and then Thursday, hopefully, we'll have game night. Uh, Friday, who knows? Normally, I take Fridays and. Either watch a movie or something with Kim, or come down and paint quietly, or play a video game or something. 
Uh, I definitely need to make sure that I, I get some rest. It's not that we're starting early on Saturday. We, we, we go in the studio at, at 2. But, you know, I still gotta... That's, that's one thing that I'm definitely gonna be doing on, on Friday. Is loading the van. And that's always a chore. of Getting all my drums and percussion and everything into the van so that it's done and ready to go. So... Any of a. That's definitely what I'm going to be doing tonight. Or Friday night, anyway. So, this is where we ended last night. We got the skin done, and we got the bone areas done. This, this little. I'll show you here. I'll use the brush to point it out. Not my. Big dumb blue fingers. Uh, the we got the flesh done. We got the bone areas done, which were his tusks. This little skull here. This little skull here. This one here with the bones, things there. And these. That's what we got done last night. Highlighted and, and actually finished. Like base coats and stuff were were already put on, but now we've got that done so i think tonight i'm going to try well i'd like to try and get it actually all done but we'll see if i can do so uh, i need to get the leathers done the furs the furs i actually i think i might start right now and just finish it up uh, so i'm going to grab a little bit of neutral mid-tone gray here grab a little bit of neutral highlight gray. These are all, um, almost all the colors that I'm using are Pro Acryl right now. Uh, the only other ones that I'm not using are the, uh, that aren't Pro Acryl are the khaki colors and those are from Reaper. Just like the, bo the bone colors were from Reaper. So this is what we're going to use for the fur, at least for our mid-tones here. After putting on that dark brown wash. We're actually going to be highlighting this up to white, so this is all the furs. It got muggy today as some storms are rolling in overnight and into tomorrow. We have a flood watch for like most of Minnesota tomorrow. So I think we're going to get some rain. Not sur super happy about that, but at least I'm not on a flood plain, so hopefully we won't get... I just don't want to get water in the basement again. I don't want to have a, a repeat of 2020 and just my basement flooding. My basement flooding in 2021 just didn't, that wasn't because of rain, that was because of a pipe breaking in a storage room. And me not noticing it until the morning, where it's just been three little pinpricks just spewing away water. We don't bring up 2021. 2021 sucked. 2020 was bad enough with pandemic and all that unhappy crap, but... And while I had things canceled on me that I was upset about, at least I understood why. And I got through it. We all got through it. And then 2021 happened, and kind of, I wouldn't say I lost my innocence or anything like that, because I'm freaking 40-something years old, but I just, uh, I just lost a lot of faith in humanity. And I never really had that much faith in humanity to begin with, but the, the, that was just, that was rough. 
lost lost a few people and not even to COVID. That's that's the thing that irritated me. It's like we had this pandemic and I didn't I was one of the few that didn't have a family member that died because of the disease. I had family members that died because of other extenuating circumstances that most of us were unprepared for. So, try not to talk about it. I know it's good to talk about it, to get the grief out, because that way you don't have grief depression and stuff like that. I'm... I've talked about it a lot, either on here or with friends or family and stuff like that. I just, I get the feeling that people are sick to death of me and talking about it, so I just try to shut up and, you know, quietly move on. It's already looking pretty good. Nice. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Oh, and I did surprise myself. We were watching uh, Jeopardy Tournament of Champions. And the first game, because they're doing two games a night, right? They're doing the first half hour and then they do a second half hour different contestants and stuff and I mean granted they were only like the four what the four and the 800 clues and double jeopardy but I knew who Carl Sagan was and my wife was like who is that guy <laughs> and then I knew there was there was like the 800 question 800 dollar question I knew what that was and I can't remember what it was right now but she was like hey you knew too I'm like I know and it wasn't in like pop culture movies and they had a movie category, and I'm like, I, I couldn't, I can't do this. I have no idea who these characters are or how they do, how you do in the category. But it was, it was fun. I haven't even hopped up on caffeine tonight. Hey, have you guys tried the new Kit Kats that are out there? Kim bought two. One is a chocolate covered donut flavored Kit Kat. And then the other one is a birthday cake flavored Kit, Kit Kat. We broke open the. Because Kim loves donuts. Not to say that I don't, but I, I don't eat. I try not to eat them a whole lot because sugar. But she broke open one, and she handed me a, a couple pieces, and she's like, well, we're going to try this tonight. I'm like, okay. It was actually quite good. It was pretty good. Uh, it had kind of a, a caramel underneath the cookie part of the Kit Kat, rather than the, uh, the second layer of chocolate. And it was, uh, it was yummy. It was quite delicious. So give them a shot. I don't know when we're going to try the um, the birthday cake one, but that one looks like it, it may actually even have like sprinkles in the, the white chocolate or something like that. It looks looks pretty good. Uh, this is the, the light gray, the bright neutral gray, I guess I should say here. So we start with the highlights.
go fishing next Monday, which means I need to get my fishing license. My daughter and her husband are going to be taking us out on their boat. forward to that on Memorial Day. I'm going to go to a, a new to me lake. I haven't been on Eagle Lake before, so that'll be fun. About as outdoorsy as I get is going fishing. I used to like to go camping, but Kim doesn't like to do that, so. There are times I'm like, oh yeah, I could just sit around a campfire, this would be great. Maybe they should just fire up my, my burn circle. I got wood out there that I need to burn down. But it's either been raining or it's, or it's been really dry and I don't wanna Torch the yard. That would be bad. <laughs> Kim would not be happy with me if I did that. What are you doing? Oh, well, just setting the yard on fire. Don't worry, we'll have to mow for a while. I keep threatening her. I'm going to get a, get a couple of goats and put them out there. Looking a little bit more white, even though that's a light gray. But now, we will go. Oh, nice. Stuck my brush in there. Some still wet paint. Nicely done. We will go with some white here. It's called Bold Titanium White. It's very bright.
Nice white fur there. We can also add a little bit of white on these. Just like so. Make those pop a little bit more. Some brown here for the pants. also for his gloves. Because last night we figured out he's wearing gloves. I had already painted his hands green, but that's fine. It's paint. We can go over it. It's no big deal. Take a little bit of light umber here. We're going to finish up the belts and boots.
My socks, what's happening? Thank you so much, appreciate it. I'm I'm trying. What? Eight twenty eight. My weather in law is early. Had the phone ring. <laughs> she calls right around eight thirty every night. Just to talk to Kim. Gotta check in. It's not like they talk for like hours on end or anything. It's just, you know, about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes an hour, depending on what, if they haven't talked to you earlier. I think it's cute. Good for them. How you doing tonight, my socks? What's going on? You know what that's like? Doing all right, just working away at the old cleaning thing. Yeah. I just remember what I can do right now. So I'm going to play some songs that you're going to be like, why are you listening to this? And I'm going to turn it down to like 20 here. There we go. But there's songs that I have to learn for a gig in uh, June 1st where I'm playing a, I'm playing a country gig. Write your tone influences how readers respond. With Grammarly, just highlight your text and type how you want. Had a nice little life, a little boat, a little beach, a little routine. Some people
This is a cool one. Lefty Frizzell. This is going to be an easy one for me to play. Because it's just like, it's like a shuffle. Right? <laughs> Gotta have that steel guitar. But my socks, I will have to say that I would say that like a lot of 80s to 90s country started to sound like that. Um, and I will have to say that uh, today's country artists like the bro country stuff is just bad <laughs> it's just bad and there's no decent musicianship there was a my buddy Chris was talking about this last week he said that the bro country stuff you can put four song, four or five songs together, and they all sound the same. It's the same, um, the same beat, same chords, same whatever, and they're almost singing the same exact thing. But they're five different artists. It's it's all because the same writers are writing the same stuff, and you know the, most of the artists aren't even writing their own material anymore. So there's that. With your kisses. See, that's...
stuff like this. Schwartzbauer, he looks amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Tonight I'm going through my... I'm not, while I'm painting this, I'm just going to go through my the playlists that I have to... Not all of them, but uh, a good portion of the songs that we didn't get to practice yesterday for this little uh, country gig that I'm playing on June 1st. So I figure, well, we get some music in. Hopefully I won't get tagged too badly in the old copyright arena. Just know that all artists are well represented here. You know, Ricky Skaggs and George Strait. I do, yes, I play Floggy Molly with the surfs. And remember, the surfs are S-E-R-F-S, not surfs. We're not, we're not surfing. Uh, which one is this? Listen to this. Ronnie Millsap. <clears throat> this could be our last good night together. We may never pass this way. I remember this is like the studio version of this song. We're we're gonna be a little three P, so it's just gonna be acoustic guitar, uh, bass and drums. So we'll definitely want to have the uh, the full orchestration, which would be cool. Got a new job on? You start on Thursday. Good for you, man. <clears throat> Where are you gonna be working at? Working for Caterpillar. Nice. Congrats, man. Let's 
That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear it. What are you going to be doing for him? Where is there a caterpillar around here? You're going to be building their steamrollers. Oh, wow. Oh, it's in Brooklyn Park. Cool, cool. You're going to be riding your bike? Yeah. Ooh. That's a truck from Fridley, man. Do you get your license? Yeah. When do you get that? I know you were working on it. Six months. There you go. Right as winter hits. Yeah, it's the fall. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, it could be. You should be all right. Once you get that, you will be unstoppable. Yes, indeed. I gotta grab bread too here. <laughs> This is a good song. Your dad found a 1997 Riviera for your first car? Awesome. Let's 
Good starting car, yeah. No, a 97 Rivera is fine.
Yeah, that's a fun song. That's gonna be fun to play. Little Dwight Yoakam. Ooh, official first look at Star Wars Skeleton Crew. I am looking forward to that and the Acolyte, to be honest. And Star Wars news. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I drove my socks away, I think, with the country music. Oh, no. Maybe we should come back. Come back. Okay, what else do I gotta do on this guy here? I gotta do the hair, I gotta do the base, and I gotta do the... Oh, the red. I gotta get the red done. Alright, mix a little, I've got a little bit of gray here. A little bit of our black. So I end up I got an eyelash or something in my eye.
take some dark gray here just to quick highlight the hair. gray. Get a good mix going here. I'm just going to do the top portion of the hair here. Get the curves. All right, hair is done. Let's get the the red here. Red out. I don't have red out. Where's my red out? There it is. Just a little dot of that.
here. Schwartzbaum, if you're still watching, what do you want the uh, base to be? I have an idea. Why don't you fell asleep already? So my idea. Do you like concrete? Okay. I mean, I could do that. My thought was. He's standing on this stuff up here, right? If I did this area here in white, I could then use some contrast paint to make it look like a lava flow. I mean, standing on the cooled areas. You like that a lot more? Okay. All right. So we're going to take white.
All right, I got that all dry. Now, Ooh, that's pink. There we go. So we've got some Imperial Fist contrast ye paint yellow here. And we've got a bit of that. Brushfuls of that. And I'm going to use this uh, Lamia Medi Medium, Lamia Medium. So it doesn't, so it doesn't dilute. I'm going to keep that nice, bright. Feel to it here. <laughs> Once we add in a little bit of an orange, yellow and, a, and the red, it'll really start looking like lava. All right, I need to dry that. Now we've got some Ayandan Sun. This is like an orangey yellow. And we're just gonna do this. I keep that yellow kind of in the center. Push this towards the edge a little bit more.
What's the next model I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna be painting these He-Man figures. Some blood angels red. Literally right at the edges here. Camera shut off there for a second. What do you think of that? It's not perfect, but it gives you the, the hint of him standing over lava. Now what I can do... gray and a little bit of this black.
All right, he is done. Well, what I could do, a little final little deal here. Alrighty. Dun 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 dun. He is done. He can get off this thing. Orc from World of Warcraft, all finished up, ready to go. I'll get some photos of him, post him up on the socials, and call it good. And now we move on to the He-Man, or the He-Man, the, the humans here. Got a couple of them to paint up. We base coated this one last night. And we need to base coat I at least want to get his skin done, or at least started tonight. So I want to take a little bit of warm brown, a little bit of shadow flesh here. This mounted version actually has a better face on it than the unmounted version does.
base coated. I'm probably going to need more black. Yeah, dark gray, this should work.
Where did I find this model? This was sent to me um, by a, a client, Dominic, who bought into the, I think it's uh, the Masters of the Universe Battle for Eternity game, Eternia. Hey, Lad, what's going on? At least that's why I think the game is called. Anyway, it has has miniatures in it. And he wanted them painted up, so he contacted me. He is actually in Osceola, Wisconsin. And yes, I'm quite aware that He-Man has blonde hair, so don't worry. I'm just base coating it in a brown-black uh, to have a nice dark tone in order to highlight over it. My socks is back. What's going on? Yep, we're paint working on the He-Man right now. Thought maybe it dropped off because I was playing too much country music. You're like, screw this. I'm out. No, I just thought to do in a bad cell reception building. Yeah, I gotcha. We keep getting notifications that we're going to get uh, gateway fiber optic internet. Um, have the lines run in our neighborhood soon. In fact, we just got a notification today that they're like, you know, sorry for the inconvenience, we're laying lines, blah, blah, blah. And I saw a bunch of uh, flags and stuff out yesterday, so I was like, it's coming. Can't wait. Shouldn't have any laggy internet whatsoever after that. Shouldn't, anyway. Keyword there.
my sock says our neighborhood neighborhood was supposed to get that done in 2020 but was kind of a mess and that's when they were supposed to install it oh no well I hope they, they get that figured out for you they've been telling us it's coming since last fall at least we're seeing the uh, the flags out now for the digging to commence. I know it's uh, it's gotten installed a couple of uh, neighborhoods away, so it should be coming our way here pretty quick. I say, hopefully. So I'm using mahogany as the base coat for the red. We're going to have several shades of it here. Grab a little bit of this brown black for the belt here. Not the belt, but the strap.
Okay. Let's see here. Let's grab. some pine green we're probably just going to be able to get this guy base coat and then I'll keep working on it on Wednesday Epic Realms with the Lurk. How you doing, Epic? Hope you had a good stream tonight. Editing tonight's video. Cool, cool. Hopefully you won't be up too late doing that. Get some sleep. I think that pine green was the perfect shade of green for that. Because we can certainly highlight that up. For sure.
I'm so thankful that they actually sculpted the stripes in. And that I don't have to try and paint stripes on this guy. I know for a fact that if I was going to end up having to paint stripes on him, there's going to be some freaking He-Man purist out there that goes, that's not where the stripes are. Great. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you for your constructive criticism. I was going nuts trying to paint stripes on Battle Cat. A fictional tiger. You're having deja vu as this live. Did you do another He-Man fighter? I'm still actually working on both of them. There's two, because there's this one here, and then there's this one. So, I have two that I'm working on. beans. Yeah. Or maybe Lud Logic is just being a a troll here. Yeah, that's, I think that's when I was showing it off, when I first got it in the mail. I was like, oh good, it has stripes, I don't have to paint them on. Sometimes you see the future only a couple days ahead though, yeah, you know. Well, it's a little after 10, folks. I think I'm going to call it for the evening. <laughs> Led says, I jumped last week. I did something the wrong way in the kitchen. Then the next day I got in trouble for doing something wrong in the kitchen. Deja vu or Nostradamus? Uh, we'll say Nostradamus. How about that? Keep deja vu out of it. 
But yeah, we are going to go ahead and call it for the evening. I hope you folks have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, Darla, H80s, 8-Row, ASMR, Miu, Dong7, Den Denai IA, Denai IA, IA, I don't know. Uh, Framer Rate, Sled Logic, Marcus Inc., My Socks for You, Regret, Shank the Noob, Tarsai, Jesti Key, and also um, Schwartzbauer was on as well. Uh, let's see if there's a channel to raid here. Dr. Faust. So, there's the raid for Dr. Faust. You all have a wonderful rest of your evening. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great night, folks. Bye. Happy painting.